Is it just me, or does that title look a little bit like some kind of death metal band? Hello! Welcome! We're playing Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Uh, I'm Michael, as you all well know, and this is something vaguely nerdy, and this is my sideshow games, uh, games? Gates Boy Advance. So, I've, you know, I've, I played a little bit of Pokemon. Played a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Did a little bit of a Mario game as well, which I'll need to go back to at some point. But I feel I need to try and do more Game Boy games, stick with that. So, I quite like Kingdom Hearts. I've played... I completed 2 and Birth by Sleep. I could never get very far with 1. So I feel I'm going to try Chain of Memories, because it's a Game Boy game I thought it would be quite good on the show. Um. And we could maybe turn this into a bit of a bit of a long play. So we'll see how this goes, so I have let's keep it let's keep it at that. So, let's start a new game. So I've never played this one before. Well, let's go with file one, that makes the most sense. I've never played this game and that's like why wow. for the Game Boy that's It's grainy as all hell, but for the Game Boy, that's not bad. Like, it uh, it just looks like a smaller PSP cutscene, which essentially is years before the PSP. That doesn't look too bad. The gameplay, I've seen pictures of the gameplay, and it doesn't look... It looks like your standard Game Boy game. But no, I, I enjoy Kingdom Hearts. Not as not as much as you know Kingdom Hearts fans, but I've never played this one before. Um, a headless something you need. Who was that? I don't know. So I've never played this one before. Oh, it's a heartless man or a nobody. No, that's the nobodies. Looks like one of the guys from Organization Thirteen. I've never played this one. Played Birth by Sleep, which I thoroughly enjoyed. It was great. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed 2 as well. And, you know, I figured it would be good to sort of do a long play on this. I was looking at the classic Legend of Zelda, which got poured... Oh my god. I mean, I have soundproofing, but that's one hell of a motorbike. Um, regard, I have... Uh, I've got the classic Legend of Zelda game, but I've never played that before. And I know I just get lost, so I feel if I am to play it, I should have some kind of a walkthrough handy with me. Oh, here we go. We're getting into the gameplay. But I feel this will this will do in the meantime. I was looking at other, you know, I was maybe going to play Final Fantasy VI, but I feel I should leave, you know, role playing stuff for James if he tends to do that on his his channel. Or his channel, his sideshow. We'll see. Okay. What? The king? I was trying to remember which wrestler was the king for a second there. I mean, there's King from Tekken. One look at this castle, and I just knew they're here. Well, what do you know? Great minds think alike, I guess. I'm not good with impressions. Guess again! Jiminy Jillikers. Wait a second. Oh god, I had to sneeze. And I'm in a very contained space, so sneezing's difficult. And now I've merged with Jiminy Cricket to become a Cricket Man. Scared? What? It's my Donald Duck impression. Goofy seems so surprised by every- oh no, it's a cloaked man. Hmm. It's one of them youths with their hoods.
Thunder! Eh. Eh. What's... What? Uh, uh. I'd love it if he just, like, it all just hit at once and he just blew up. Oh, we've conveniently forgot all our spells and stuff. Castle Oblivion. Here you will meet people you know, people you miss. There's no one... Oh. Riku's here. Riku from Final Fantasy X. Which was also quite weird, because in Kingdom Hearts 2, Riku from Final Fantasy X 2 is there. Oh, he's taken my memories. And he's made them into some kind of chain, I guess? Oh no, it's a card. Is it a trap card? Use that card and press on and you will find your friend. Hold the card before you. The door will open and beyond it, new world. Select a card. So it only has one card now. Sweet. I guess we're going there. Well, that was... What? Stop speaking in riddles, you strange man. Just let me kill things with a giant key. That's the premise of the game, right? Killing things with a key? Oh, what, what are you going to say? We're in Traverse Town. Yeah. Ten is an illusion. Ooh, it's an illusion. Forget about that, Sora. We're two heads short. Oh, yeah. Goofy and Donald. Where'd they go? They're clearly over here where there's a wall. Sora, you're dumb as shit. What did you do with them? Oh, no. Mercy of the card. Wow, this... Master of the cards in the shrink. Is... This is... Is this... A crossover with Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's be transformed into cards. Oh god! If you value your friends, pick them up without fail. Got them. Added to the top of your stack. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. Alright. Cards you use vanished, but they will reappear to aid you time and again. Card to the heart of your friends. It is Yu-Gi-Oh! This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. This is a crossover with Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, why have I never played this before? But you mustn't forget your own strength. Hitcha! Move, and then use the cards. Eh, eh. Every move causes the card to disappear. So you can keep using cards until you run out and I will show you. Fuck you. What's the different numbers on them? Oh, wait, wait, and I'm done. I have no more cards with no power. Let the cards return to you, and they will. Okay, so I literally just need to hold down A. The strength of your heart brought back the lost cards. It's so... Oh, this is... Is that the pharaoh under that hood? The cards will take longer to return. Okay. The four card types used in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first categories include attack, magic, and item. Entirely of enemy cards. Sele select. Okay. Up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend, but do not forget it. Okay, 
Oh, well, they're back. That was a weird tutorial. Seems like a weird game so far, but we'll, we'll keep going. Don't know what new duds. He looks exactly the same. What? This is for you to ponder. <laughs> we can do it. Sir, we can't do anything without our help. Donald, you just talk normally for a second. Are you sure you're okay? It's, it's funny, my Donald the Duck impression and my Abu impression from Aladdin are pretty much the same. The hero speaks boldly. What are the avenues and something? Ooh, is Michael Jackson. I have a really bad feeling about this. Well, shut up, because you're not the one who has to die. Yeah, you know, if things go badly. Not like right now. You can perform the following actions in the field. Move, swing keyblade, and jump. To open doors, fucking smack them around. Sweet, I got my keyblade. Alright, we're playing the game. Oh yeah. Is there any way I can bust that? No, okay. Okay, cool. Oh. To proceed to the next room, you need a map card. Map cards are used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. Select the map card you want to use. The number you see in the middle of the screen is the criterion for opening the door. The door will open with a value of one or greater. To pick a card that means. God! Oh, God! Zero cards marked them all. The card without a marked value is a key card. Okay, so this card works perfectly because it's got a 1 on it. How very convenient! Traverse 10. Do, 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 do. Sweet. I wonder if there's anything else down here. There's another. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We saved. So from saving, you can also quick save anywhere in the field. What does that? Okay. So let's press this. Feel with your cooey. Try striking the barrel. Kingdom key. Animal objects aren't the only things you can hit. Well, but you can strike the heartless first to gain the upper hand. Oh god, there's one over there. Yeah, oh, we're in a battle. Oh, I mess you up. Which hole? I don't know what that does. All right. Let's save again. Has it only been ten minutes? <sighs> now that I'm sick of being here with you guys, like so. This, so the start button does a heap of help and a jack. Okay. So what can I use? Can I use a tranquil darkness? I can. How very convenient. I maybe should have picked that card up first. Feeble darkness. Oh, shit.
I have no idea what I'm doing. Shit. I'm literally just swinging the carter. Oh, fuck. I'm literally just hitting A repeatedly. I might not be amazing at this game. I have literally zero. Oh shit, I get to level something up. Okay, I don't know what CP is. Learn a new slight, I don't know what that is. Let's learn a new slide towards distant targets for a close range attack. Oh, three attack cards of the same type, total value 10 to 5. Cool, I guess. Okay, so I'm just trying to... Okay, that was also heal. I have... Sorry, I went silent for a very long time there. I have zero idea what I'm doing. I'm just sort of flailing the card about. Flailing the card about? Sort of flailing the, the thing around. Jesus. Okay, I don't know what all that is. So let's strike first and let's mess this guy up. And he's down. Oh god, more heartless. This is... You know, I don't know if I can if I can keep concentrating on this game the same as I would. And I've leveled up. Sweet. That was pretty quick. I will boost my CP. Whatever that is. Okay, so, let's save the game here, and I think, um, I don't know, this doesn't seem like, seems like a good game, I may very well come back to it, but it seems like a, I don't know, it's just taking too much of my attention for me to keep, for me to keep talking. I, I know it's not exactly a difficult game, but I just find myself thinking, like, what's, what's going on? So, I'll leave this one with you guys just now, and... Let's see what else we come up with. I'll do a little bit more recording, and, you know. We're just sort of trying to get a feel of what games I want to play at the moment. Um, so, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh man. I keep going silent, and that's just. That's just not good for. Good for anything. Or anyone. Gotta work on that.